Hello everyone, uh, in today's video we're going to try to create a clone of this Microsoft website mainly using CSS Grid and Flexbox. The website is not going to be the exact same with this one but it's going to be way similar. Okay, so I'll show you the website that we're going to create in this project. So this is the website that we're going to create in this video. Alright, we're only using CSS and HTML for this. Okay, I will show you some uh, tricks as well. Uh, HTML tricks. We are going to use some HTML entities. Okay, we're going to use some of these in this video. I'll show you how to use them as well, so don't worry. All right, I will see you in the video. All right, so now I have uh, an image folder. These are the images that we're going to use for this particular project. You can use any images that you'd like to use. But for this project, I'll use these images. You can get these uh, images from GitHub. I'll post them on GitHub. All right, so now let's start by creating a new folder. Uh, actually, new folder, yeah. And then this folder is going to be styles. And then a, a new file, index.html. Inside the styles folder, I'm going to create a new file. It's going to be style.css. Okay, so. I'm going to generate basic HTML markup. Okay, so to be able to do that with a shortcut, you need to download uh, an extension. It's called HTML and CSS support. This plugin, this extension, I mean, and then just install the extension. All right, so now I'm going to change the title to Microsoft. Okay, Microsoft. So now let's link the CSS file to our HTML file link and then inside the href we are going to link the style CSS okay so now let's try to run this page I'm using live server you can get the live server from the extensions extensions depending on whatever code editor you're using but with VS code you can get them from extensions and then here you can just search for live server all right, this is the one that I'm using. All right, so now open with live server. Okay, now this is our page. I'm going to decrease the size. I want to be able to switch between VS Code and the browser. Okay, so now I can do this. Okay. So now, inside the HTML, I'm going to start by creating the navigation so it's, it's nav actually header so the navigation is going to be inside the header header dot header I'm also using a plugin to create class names it's uh, I met this one and also you need to get uh, CSS snippets uh, Actually, I think this is the one I'm using as well, this one. All right, so now, if I want to create a navigation, I can just say nav with the class for navigation dot navigation. It will automatically create the class. The class. All right, now let's look at the Microsoft website. So, for this website, we have um, this now, oops. We have this navigation, so our best way to do this navigation would be to use uh, Flexbox instead of the grid. So this is like a flex item, and this is like another flex item. Okay. Now inside the navigation, we're going to do a logo logo area. In here, we're going to do our logo. So the logo, I think it's inside the icons and then it's called logo, I think. So this header, actually I'm going to put a utility class. It's going to be U. A utility class, you can reuse this class whenever we want to uh, apply certain styles. Okay, so for this one, I want to apply some sort of a padding. So this is going to be utility main padding. So this padding is the... Uh, this one, this padding you see here, there's spacing here. So some some areas I don't want this padding. Some areas I want this padding. So for example, down in the footer, 
we're not using this padding all right we this uh, footer is filling the the whole the whole width sometimes we don't want it to fill the whole width okay so now we have utility main padding all right now let's go back to the navigation in here i'm going to create an, an order list this is going to be uh, nav items all right so in here we're going to do some allies and then anchor tags that leads to nowhere okay so now let's see microsoft 365 office windows 365 uh, office oops office and then uh, do this a couple of times windows surface xbox Xbox and then uh, we have deals and support deals and then finally we have support all right so after this uh, UL I'm going to say create an after the UL I'm going to create another div this is going to be uh, nav uh, right items all right so in here I'm going to create another UL uh, with an li oops li and then an anchor tag and then it leads to nowhere so in here we have uh, all Microsoft so we have all Microsoft Microsoft uh, and you also notice we have this little arrow pointing downwards so we're going to instead of using an icon we're going to use an HTML entity so if we search HTML entities so here we will find a, lo a list of entities that we can use inside the HTML so if you copy let's say uh, let's say you want this sign here you can just copy this oops this this is the sign we can now uh, go back to our code editor and then we paste it here and then if you save and then let's go to the page and now we have this entity right here so I don't know which one we've copied I think it's this one yeah so now it's it's there so the one that we want is the arrow pointing downwards okay now let's look for the entity I can't even remember what it is so let's keep scrolling down hopefully we will find it if we don't we will use another entity but I know it's there I know it's there um, it's pointing downwards I've used it before but I forgot where it was oh man So we have this pointing forward. You know what? Um, I know it's there. For now, I've ju I'm just going to use this. You know, just this one because I'm wasting a lot of time looking for. Oh, actually, eh, I don't think it's this one. But let's see if we says our purpose uh, nah it's, this is not the one the one that we want is mm, a bit uh, oh it doesn't matter you you can just look for uh, look for it uh, on your own time for now I'm just I'm going to use something else 
I think this one. This one I think we'll do. Let's see. All right. I uh, will just use the one that we've uh, I've pasted there. So, but I want a little bit of spacing between this Microsoft and this uh, arrow. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to use another HTML en entity. This one is going to be NPSP entity. So we can get some spacing between the Microsoft and this uh, arrow. All right. So now we have a bit of spacing between them. Okay. So now uh, here we have some icons. So what I'm going to do down here, I am going to uh, do an input, input text, text, and actually I will do an li, and then inside the li, I'll do input, uh, it doesn't matter, this is just for styling purposes, so I'm not going to put anything inside the input input and then after the input we have an icon you know what i'll put this inside a link in anchor tag so we have input and then we have an image so this oh this source image uh, icons. I think it's search search to this PG. Okay, so yeah, this is our input. So now after that, we have the cut. So uh, what I'm going to do is give this a class name. Uh, right icons okay so i'm going to start these right icons later copy this li again okay and then in here i am going to remove this input instead i'll put a text it's going to be cut and then i'll swap out the i'll swap out the images i will replace with the trolley image and then finally we have sign in sign in okay copy this and then we do sign in in here we'll replace the image with the I think uh, sign in like I forgot what I've named it uh, user oh yeah it's the user one okay so now the styling is done basically uh, not the styling i mean the markup for the navigation is done basically so now what we need to do is focus on the styling all right so now let's go back to the uh copy this header inside the style the css so before we do anything we need to do a basic page resetting so for, okay i'll show you what i mean so if I do body, background color, if I set it to red, when I save this, actually, I don't think you, you'll be able to see it when I do that, not the whole body. But one second, let me show you what I mean. So if I say header, I thought I'm missing sus, never mind. So if I say header, if I give it a background color of red, so you see this header, right? there's this padding pa padding around it so this padding is applied by default so we want to remove this padding so let's do the basic uh, resetting so we want to set the, that padding to zero we don't want it zero and then we want a margin of zero as well zero and a box sizing of zero actually not zero but a box and then uh, list style we want the list style to be none by default and we also want the text decoration uh, to be none by default as well and by default we want the font size to be point 
I think HRAM for now. We'll change this if it doesn't work out. And the font family to be sans serif. Okay, so now we've done the resetting. Actually, I think point HRAM is too small, we do point 0.9. Okay, so now let's start styling. So what I'm going to select, I am going to select the uh, navigation. So I want to have a display of flex with this logo. Uh, actually, this logo should be inside the nav items. Okay. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to select this uh, actually the navigation first down here uh, never mind select navigation to navigation and then we're going to have a display flex so everything is going to be aligned okay it's aligned like like this so now we want to space out this uh, these elements like this so we need to change the uh, justify content to space bit yeah, bit space between space between so we can space between these uh, elements so, yep it's working so now what we're going to do is also we're going to use a display flex inside these nav items as well copy the nav items we're going to give them display flex and yep we want to center these uh, items inside this uh, container so the container is nav items so we want to center these items okay so we're going to say align items center to center them uh, vertically so now they're centered vertically inside their container all right so we need to do the same as well for the uh, nav right items actually we need to do that inside the let's give this a class name so this is the right items nav <laughs> so that the names uh, can, can be different make sure these names don't match up okay in here we're going to also give it a display flex flex and then align items to center okay don't give it a justify content all right so now what we need to do is resize these icons but first let's start by doing the logo actually before we do the logo remember our utility class the uh, utility main padding let's uh, do that down here I can say a comment I can say utilities utilities I don't know if that's the correct spelling but it doesn't matter I'll do you padding and then I'll do a padding top and bottom it's going to be zero and then left and right left and right I'm going to give it a padding of 5 RAM so we have uh, that spacing all right so now I'm going to target this image this logo okay so I'll target the logo I'll target, actually I'll remove this, it's distracting. I'll target the logo and then the image. So for the image, I am going to uh, give it a height of 20 pixels. Let's see how that works out. Hmm, I think 20, let me see. Uh, I think 30 pixels works fine. 30 pixels and a margin of right margin right of 2 RAM maybe yeah that works fine okay 
and what we also need is a color font color so to get some colors nice colors let's see what uh, color they're using okay so now i'll go to uh micros microsoft i forgot the name of the uh the name of the library for for the ui microsoft ui i forgot the name oh it's called fluent ui yeah that's the one so here we can get some colors microsoft uses so if i say get started uh, go web 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 where is it uh fluent ui react i remember i was messing around with this uh I think it's a framework. I don't even know about it. I just found out today. Um, I remember how did I? I was I know I was messing around with the colors. You know what? Never mind. I'll go to Figma. I'll look for a color. Uh, I can't remember if even if I save these colors. Okay, I think. This is the one. I'll copy the uh, actually I'll try this one. I'll copy this color. Uh, okay, and then let's go back. Inside uh, the body, I'm going to give it a default color. This one, I think this one is too light. Okay, so I'm going to select the anchor tag, or the anchor tags by default. I want to give them a color. The color is going to be inherit because automatically the anchor tags doesn't inherit the color. So you have to give them an inherit color. So they inherit the color. Okay, I think this color is way too light. Get, get oops, what am I doing? Yeah. Let's see. Nah, too light. The one uh, Microsoft is using is a little bit darker. Okay, I think this this is fine. All right. So now I am going to select the actually the allies nav items. This nav items and then the anchor tags. Not the anchor tags, I mean the allies, the list. And then I'm, I'm going to give it uh, padding point for RAM, top and bottom, and then one RAM left and right. So we have a bit of spacing like so, like this. And let's see how much they have here. Uh, I think it's point, point 0.8 I don't know I think that makes sense still no okay I'll leave it point 0.8 for now we can make changes later so now let's focus on this side so that side uh, is the right items nav we did a display flex already so now let's focus on these big icons here so it's uh, right icons right icons and we want to target the image inside the right icons logo right items right icons and then we want to target the image inside it and then we are going to give it a height of uh, let's say 10 pixels i'm pretty sure it's way too small <laughs> yep okay i think let me see how big these are 
Oh, they're quite big. All right. I don't want these images to have this size. So as you can see, this uh, this user image, the size is way bigger than the, the rest of the icons. So I want the rest of the icons, uh, the cart and the trolley, to have. Uh, I think I'll give it height of thirty pixels as well. Thirty pixels, same as the logo. Hmm. Well, it doesn't match. Okay, but it doesn't matter. So um, what I'm going to do now is I will target right icons and then inside the right icons we're going to do display flex. Right icons, display flex, align item center. Actually, yeah, we're doing the display flex already. Let me see what's going on. right icons oh the flex is not showing let's see what display flex align items center okay now it's working let me see why it's working it's not working oh never mind i haven't selected the right icons i did the right items now but I need to select the right icons. Display, flex, align items to center. So everything is nicely centered like so. All right. So now I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to give the navigation padding of one RAM and then zero left and right, top and bottom one RAM. Okay. And also the allies. I want to target the uh, right items now, allies. Okay, select this one, right items now, and then the allies. Okay. So, I am going to uh, give it this padding as well. Okay, so we have a nice spacing as well. Okay, and then I am going to select the input. We're only using one input, so it doesn't matter if we don't use a class or an ID. So this input, we're going to do display inline block. Actually, no, 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 not inline block. Don't worry about display. We're going to do border, none. And then, uh, what else? Outline, none. You know, we, I want to remove the border and the outline uh, when it's, you see when it's active, actually there's no border when it's active, okay. But I'm going to, what I'm going to do is inside the input, I am going to give it a placeholder so we know it's for searching. Uh, where's the input? All right, right here inside the input, we're going to give it a placeholder. We're going to do search. Okay, I think I'll give it three dots. All right. So now we do have search. Okay. I think display. I think we need to give it a display. The one that we want, it's uh, Hmm. I think it's inline block actually. Let me see. Save. Uh, input. No, no, no. Okay, one second. So now, let's. I'll target the. 
uh, search icon I'll give this a cl uh, class name because we want to style this uh, differently search icon icon okay so copy this search icon class uh, down here after the input search icon I'm going to give it margin left of 5 frame actually minus 5 frame uh, or you can do more than that uh, 6 I don't know Six point five, I think. Yeah, and then now let's resize this icon to make it a little bit smaller. Okay, search icon height. I'm going to do fifteen pixels. So to make it a bit smaller, it doesn't seem to be working. Let's see why. Okay, let's see. Image height. Oh, it's to applying 30 pixels height I don't know why it's not overriding hmm, hold on ten pixels it's not of overriding our old styles but okay, we'll fix the problem later, don't worry. So now, all right. So if you want to start these icons in individually, um, right icons, image. Okay, remove this height and then we can start them individually. I think that'll be the best solution to do that. Okay. Uh, I'll increase this to 15 pixels to make it a bit s uh, I don't know 15, 17 you know I'm overthinking this you can find size that you want okay now I'll also copy the, the class name I'll paste it inside the trolley as well but I'll change the name to trolley icon okay so for the trolley I think I'll use similar styles as well trolley uh, trolley remove the margin and then we save okay but for the trolley it's going to be slightly bigger than the I oh, oh, let me see it's same size but in this case we need to make it bigger because the icons the way they're designed they're designed by different people they're not the same so yeah 22 just uh, okay I think I'll leave it like uh, like that and then now let's do the final the final icon is the avatar Uh, class name class is going to be uh, avatar icon okay so in the avatar icon I'm going to select the avatar and then I'll change the, hi the height okay so the height for the avatar, I'm going to give this, I think, 35 pixels because it's a bit bigger than the rest of the icons. Okay, let's see. I think I'll give it 40. And this is final. 40 pixels. All right. I think that's it for these, uh, this nav guard. But now let's work on the animation. Alright, so now for the have animation, 
um, we're going to do something a little bit different with the have animation so what I'm going to do um, I'm going to target the um, right actually no 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 I'm going to target the UL nav items nav items uh, nav items okay I'll target the nav items and then I'm going to target the anchor tags these are the nav items I'm going to do um, a before pseudo element okay so I'll target also the nav items nav items anchor tag I'm going to give it a position of relative because we want um, the child component the child element which is the before pseudo element to be able to um, uh, move inside the anchor tag so hence the position of relative all right so now let's give it a content of empty strings and then left is going to be zero and bottom it's going to be zero as well and actually instead of doing the nav items anchor tag we can do it on the li i think it makes sense if we do it on the li okay and position of absolute because we want to be able to position it on anywhere that we want and a height of zero width of zero okay and a background color of hash yeah whatever the if actually I think this is black black background color and okay when we have a nav items li on hover on hover We want the before we want the before pseudo element oops to have um a height of point four m and a width of one hundred percent I think. Okay, let's see not coming out we'll see why okay let's see what's going on the light before height hold on position absolute oh you know what we didn't uh, actually hold on we didn't set a position relative so uh, let's put it back to the anchor tag just to make it easier for now all right because we've already de uh, did a position relative uh, in inside the anchor tag so we might as well switch it back all right so now we have the <laughs> uh, before suit element. Okay. But what I'm going to do is for the bottom. Actually, for the height, I am going to change the height from 0.4 ram to 0.2 ram. Okay, I think that's fine. Let's see. Uh, no, it's point one RAM actually. Okay, so and bottom, I'm going to do minus ten pixels. 
Yeah. Nah. Let's just do five. Minus five pixels and then I'm going to give it a transition. Transition everything all and four seconds and then ease in and ease out. So the transition is nice and smooth. Alright, now we have a nice and smooth transition. Actually I'll make the the height a bit thicker, just leave it on point two RAM. Doesn't matter. All right. I think we're transitioning the height as well. We don't want to transition this height. So by default, give it a height of 0.2 RAM. So we don't transition the height. We just want to do the width. Okay. Okay. Now it's doing as we want. Uh huh. <laughs> Something is missing here. It's not working on these items. Let's let me see why. What am I targeting? Nav items. Uh, nav items. Oh, nav items is not targeting the right nav, the right, the right item. So, to be able to target those, we need to select the whole navigation instead of the nav items. Okay, because we want to target all the anchor tags inside the navigation. Okay, nav items navigation okay so all right still is not working let's see what's going on navigation anchor tags hmm i don't know what's going on it should work but doesn't matter we'll fix it now let's focus on something else we'll fix this later now let's go to the this body here this this is still in the header so we need to do this image and this text some, something like this okay so after the nav I am going to do a section dot hero section all right in here i'm going to include an image include an image and then the image is going to be inside the images i think it's going to be surface pro let me see okay that's the one surface pro that's the one this hero section uh, down here we are going to say hero hero section we're going to give it a height I think this will have a height of 70 VH freeport freeport height okay so let's give it a background color just to see what it looks like give it a background color of red all right so now this is the 70 vh right actually 70 no i think it's 60 something like that, around 60 vh i think yeah 60 vh okay S and then inside the hero section i'm going to target the image Hero section image I M G. This image is going to have a width of 100% height, 100% object fit. Actually, let me show you before I add the object fit. Okay, now it's working, but the image is stretched out. We need to fix it. So if we use object fit. Uh, it won't stretch and then we say cover so, oops cover so it doesn't stretch out the image okay so now the image is fine and then we need some text something like this and a button okay so 
a button now let's go back in here we're going to say hero content actually we need to do this as a class dot hero content so inside the hero content we have uh, a paragraph p dot para paragraph uh, I'm going to give this lorem 15 just a random text uh, you can get this uh, lorem if some generator I think inside the from the extensions and then after the paragraph we're going to do a dot btn uh, let's say primary primary okay because this will be an anchor tag this is going to be shop now I think all right so this hero content the parent of this hero content is the hero section so this hero section we're going to give it a position of relative because we want to be able uh, to move this uh, text inside this hero content freely so that's why we're giving it a position of relative because we want it to stay inside this container okay so I will select the hero content uh, down here and I'll give it a position of absolute so we, we can move it freely inside the container okay so now if I save uh, it's still this is down here I don't know why it's not inside the container but we will fix it now save again okay actually it's, it, it is inside the container what we're going to do is I'm going to uh, do top and then I'll do top 50% okay so it's 50% in this side this container okay and this here content I'm going to give it a width of 40% okay uh, Actually, I'm, I'm not sure if it's centered. Yeah, it is. So what I'm going to do, uh, it, this is not uh, centered exactly on the center. So what I'm going to do, I'll show you later actually now. Now let's focus on styling. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to select the primary button, PTN primary, background color, black, font weight font weight 700 actually and then color white font size I think one rem one rem and then yeah okay and the padding actually the padding point six RAM and one RAM left and right okay shop now actually uh, oh there's an arrow here as well so let's go back to HTML entities and look for that arrow uh, I'm pretty sure it's similar to the one that we've used before if I remember correctly so what I'm going to do is I'll just copy the one that we've used before uh, we do and and nbsp for spacing and then the one that we've used before we've used inside the navigation uh, down here this is the one copy this and then you paste it after okay and then you save hopefully now we have the arrow I think I'll increase the padding top and bottom padding I'll do 0.8 8 RAM to make it yeah a bit bigger and also this pattern is overlap is overlapping the paragraph we are going to do display and then inline block 
so it doesn't do that okay now it's not over over it's not overlapping the paragraph anymore okay so this whole hero content we're going to give it a margin left actually not margin left since it's position absolute we can just do left and then uh, we're going to give it 5% okay a space of 5% from the left yeah okay 5% and then this paragraph hero content is inside the hero content that's the uh, specifically this paragraph we want it to uh, have a padding bottom one ram so that we have a nice passing spacing actually I think it's two ram and then up here mainly up here we're going to do the styles for the text so the font size I'm going to increase this one to 1.1 I think okay 1.1 ram okay paragraph font size 1.1 <laughs> ram by default okay I think yeah yeah okay now we need to center this so down here we are going to say translate trans actually transform and then translate the y-axis y-axis and then minus 50% to center okay now it's centered uh, horizontally <laughs> okay actually not horizontally vertically is centered vertically now right so now let's work on putting some of these controls down here okay what I'm going to do down here after the hero content I'll do dot hero controls okay so down here I'm going to uh, create four divs dot uh, hero actually uh, uh, actually yeah hero con con hero uh, hero controller hero controller you can just say uh, controller for shortcut con and then I'm going to do hero controller s multiply by multiply by four so I want to have four uh, hero container with hero container one two three four so multiply by four now we have hero container one two four okay copy this first of all I'll copy the hero controls first down here hero controls position absolute and then background color red height pixels with 50 pixels this is the placeholder values just to show you what it looks like and then we're going to do left 50% okay this is here it is uh, and bottom bottom uh, bottom 3% and we also need to center this uh, horizontally okay and then we're going to do tra transform uh, transform translate x axis translate x I'm pretty sure you know this already minus 50% okay so it's centered all right so now I'll select the not the hero controls the hero con controller one hero controller one hero controller two and three and four 
okay i want them to have same style height six pixels and a width of six pixels as well width of six pixels and a border radius of 50 percent because i want it to be rounded so if i put 50 percent it will be rounded and a background color of uh, black for now for testing purposes okay now we have these little uh four circles but we need to display flex them so they uh become aligned one after another okay so we do display uh, actually the display flex should be in the parent container which is the hero controls in here we're going to do display flex okay so they are aligned one after another and then i think this container you know what i'll just do justify content and then space evenly you can space them evenly uh, inside this container and then we need to uh, align this on the center of the container so what i'm going to say align items and then center they'll be centered right in the middle of the container all right so i want the first item um not to have a uh, background color so the first one is hero con one i wanted to give it a background of transparent background color transparent and a border border of one pixel solid and then uh, black background background color okay so it looks like this so now i will remove the this background color here and uh, <laughs> what did i remove background color yeah here oh no not this one actually this one this red background color and what else do i need to remove i think that's it okay now we have these controllers i think we can just do uh Kesa pointer so when we have uh, these items we have a pointer Kesa. okay yeah, i think that's it for this area so now let's move on to the next section uh this one is going to be uh this area with icons here so this one uh so this one is outside of the header so now i'm going to select uh to create a main main section main all right so inside the main i'm going to cl uh, create a section so i'll say this is product section then uh dot products actually section uh actually services section dot services section all right inside the services section uh so let's see best way to approach this we can use either a flex display for this or we could use a grid system okay I think for this purpose, I'm going to use a grid system, okay? So we can do a grid with one, two, three, four, five, six columns, okay? So to be able to use a grid, first off, let's start by uh, giving this a height, a height, height, I think 40VH in the background color of red let's see how that works out okay i can't remember what height i've given this okay oh remember what i was telling you about that utility utility per utility padding so if we include that utility padding we will have this uh, same spacing here as well we need to include that here as well so inside the index here the main we're going to give it a class name we're going to give it a uh, main and then u main padding or utility class so the padding is going to be applied already yep now the padding is applied i think 40 vh is way too much 
I think we can do 30. Okay, yeah, now it's accurate. 30 is accurate. Okay, now we have this area now. So what I'm going to do in here, I'm going to create some grid items. So the first one, the first one is going to be, uh, uh, you know what? It's services, right? It's going to be a service. Just service, grid item one, service, and then an anchor tag inside and a hash. Inside the anchor tag, I am going to add an image. I think, what else do we have? Image and then text. Choose your, choose your Microsoft 365. Choose your, and then we need to break. So, BR means break, break your sentence. So if choose your, and then it breaks, and then it goes to the next line. Okay, it breaks and then Microsoft, Microsoft 365, so it breaks, okay, and then the image, it's going to be icons and then Windows, I think, Windows logo, okay, uh, let's see down here, now we do have the Windows logo, okay, so the next one, um the next one is surface in the next box okay copy this service okay service and then the next one uh, surface and then the text shop for Okay, the text is shop for surface BR to break devices. Alright, and go down again. Xbox games. Xbox games. And, oops. buy games and then br consoles i think that's yeah and consoles and should be okay we break and then we have uh, actually we need to change the logo Xbox service and then down here we need to also change the logo to Windows Windows logo and then we need to say shop for shop for and then you break and then Windows Okay, and then find your next PC. Yo, next, I think PC. Find your next PC. And shop business, okay. Change the logo to laptop. All right, so now I think I'll close this page, okay. So now Find your next PC, laptop, Windows logo, shop for Windows, find your next PC. Finally, I think we have one more, one more down here. This one is going to be shop, uh, 
business okay this one is going to be briefcase okay now we have our icons let's select the uh, services section down here service section actually service section and then we're going to do display grid okay this is a section these are grid items the service is the grid items so we have six services we're going to do grid we're going to give them some columns template template and then columns and then we're going to do repeat we want to get them to have uh, equal sizes so we're going to have six columns one fr means they're all going to have equal size okay and then save okay now we have a grid so if we inspect you can see we have uh, six columns with equal sizes okay good now I'll select the service the service I'm going to do a display flex and then align items to center so I want to make sure everything is centered okay and then I think we also need a justify content of center as well horizontally okay so within the service we have an anchor tag we want to flex display as well the image and the text so I'll select the service service and then the anchor tag and then I'm going to do a display of flex and then flex direction it's going to be column so it goes uh, downwards okay and uh, align items to be center actually all right and also we are going to give it uh, text align to center okay not so bad service anchor tag uh, also inside the anchor tag I am going to target the image and I'm going to give it a padding bottom 0.5 RAM actually 0.2 RAM makes sense or oh, make it bigger bit 0.3 RAM okay and the anchor tag on hover when we have this anchor tag a on hover we want to have a text decoration of underline okay makes sense now let's remove this red background color it's distracting uh, where the heck is it background color all right uh, uh, actually we need to increase the font weight font weight uh, this should be somewhere around 600 or 700 uh, okay yeah I think this this font weight is uh, decent decent for it okay oops one second I need to change my uh, the brightness of my monitor <laughs> all right so now now we finish with this section let's go and 
that work on another section. Okay, so after the index, after the uh, the service section, we're going to create another section as well. Section uh, dot products section dot products. Okay, so for the products as well, I think we are going to use a grid system as well. So inside the products, um, I am going to do product product. Okay. Inside the product, I'm going to have uh, product image, and then in here we're going to do an image image so for the product it's going to be surface laptop i think yeah i think this is the one i don't know and then after the image i'm going to do give it an uh i think h3 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 oh I've just noticed inside here <laughs> I've missed something. Um, let's fix it first before we go anywhere. Inside the hero, up here, I've missed something. <laughs> uh, NH1. Okay. All right. Okay, now let's uh, start this limited time offer. Okay, so this paragraph, it's inside the hero content. It's hero content paragraph, instead of padding bottom, it's going to be uh, top and bottom, it's going to be 2.5 rem, and then left and right zero. Okay. And then we also want to target the H1. The H1. And this one is going to have a font uh, font size of 2.5 RAM, I think. Okay. And this color is going to be uh, black. And font weight of two hundred. Okay, I think the padding is way too big. One point eight RAM. All right, that's done. Now let's uh, keep keep going. Let's go back to our product section. So down here, now the product, we have an H3. Surface laptop, and then we have a, also a paragraph. Okay, in here I'm going to do low RAM, uh, 16. All right, after that, we have BTN. Actually, this is an anchor BTN secondary. Okay, hash. Uh, we also need that little HTML entity. Where did we last use it? Down up here. Copy this. And you put it down here as well. All right. So this is the product, product item. I need to create copies of this product item. I need three more copies. I'll copy this two, three more times. One, two, three. Okay, now 
what we're going to do is we're going to replace replace the images. So this one is going to be uh, office. I think yeah, office. Office and then uh, Xbox, I think. Oh, I don't know, campus. Okay, save. Now let's see what we've got. Okay, good now it's time for styling uh, products we are going to the styles okay so now let's do the products okay sorry guys uh i think one of my housemates is cooking downstairs so that's why th that's why there's a lot of noise in the background okay uh, products we are going to have a display of grid remember what we've done before we are going to do some template columns this is this is going to be um, f actually four columns and then one fr make sure they have equal spaces okay so each product is a grid item okay and then I'm going to select product so in the product I'm going to target images images in the product and then I'm going to give it a width of 100% width of 100% okay I think I'll give it a height of 100% as well Let's see what's going on and give it object fit of uh, cover so it doesn't stretch out because we're going to resize these grid items we're going to give them custom custom height so the product I'm going to give it oops dot product product I'm going to give it a height a custom height I think I'll give it a 40 VH height 40 vh height okay so each of the products they have a height of 40 vh okay and also now this image it's inside the image container the product image okay so the product image So let's back what I can see product image uh, product and then let's select the actually dot product image height um, this product image I think I'll give it height of 30 vh okay so now they have equal spaces uh, we also need to give this a grid gap grid gap uh, grid gap this is going to be 2 RAM so we have some spacing between them actually this one we also need to do something as well but let's finish this first okay I think 30 pH is way too much let's do 25 okay I think 25 will do uh, before we do anything we need to fix this width we need to decrease the width on uh, inside the main no actually not the main it's the 
services section services section it's up here so the width is going to be 70% uh, okay so the width 70% but we need to center this so we're going to give it a margin 0 top and, and then auto so it will center this if we do margin 0 auto okay now it's centered now let's go back here I think what I'm going to do now is uh, continuous tiling I'll target the H3 uh, where I'm styling the text up here H3 this is the only one I'm using so there's no need to do classes uh, font size I think 1.5 RAM and I think I'll give it a font weight as well of uh, 200 I think okay yeah makes sense and color black and yep black color so this image I'll give it a uh, padding bottom so product image padding bottom mm, I think 2 RAM okay so now we have a padding bottom we also need to fix the paragraph as well this paragraph we want to have a specific product P P and then we're going to give it a padding so the padding is going to be point four RAM top and bottom and then zero left and right okay this we do for now and let's uh, focus on the button so the button I think the color that we're going to give the button uh, some sort of uh, a blue color okay so now the product a the anchor tag in here color font size it's going to be one point I forgot what I've given the other one okay yeah it's one one point one RAM one point one RAM okay I think uh, this blue is kind of it's very it's, it's very light I think we need something a bit darker let's do something darker okay let's see this one I think this will do okay and then we also need to give it a font weight of 700 to make it a bit thicker okay <laughs> uh, you know what I'll reduce the opacity just a tiny bit okay yeah I think this will do uh, now I can go on to the other section okay section dot uh, browser browser section so in the browser section in here mainly there's nothing much going on here this browser section we're going to give it um, oh, this guy's making a lot of noise he's always making noise we're going to give it a um, uh, the section not browser 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 section okay so inside the browser section 
I'm going to give it a height. Uh, I think the height that I'm going to give it is going to be around 60 VH and a background color of red. Red. Okay. Uh, it's not showing up. Let's see. I think we didn't save down here. Okay, there it is. This is our browser section. And then inside the browser section, I'm going to do uh, image browse browser look, browser image browser image. So inside the browser image, we're going to put an image in here. It's going to be img edge. So that's the one. So the, I want the browser image to fill the whole width and height of the browser section. Okay. Uh, browser image img width 100% height 100% 100% height 100% I don't want it to be stretched out I'm going to give it an object fit of cover ah, what the fuck oops sorry <laughs> uh, cover cover and then yeah that's it and then actually I, I, I need to add some text as well and a button so i am going to copy a primary button that we've used before uh down here i'm going to uh, say dot browser content browser browser content and then inside the browser content, I am going to uh, copy that H1 uh, that we had. And then, okay, Microsoft Edge. And then we also need uh, para for paragraph and then lorem. Uh, this one is lorem 10, I think, yeah. Lorem 10. After that, we're going to do a dot btn primary member class. All right, hash it leads to nowhere and paste the text. Okay, okay, so now we're going to copy this browser content we're going to give it a position of absolute because we want to position it anywhere inside the browser section so the browser section is supposed to have a position of what relative you guessed it relative and then i am going to select the browser content and the position of absolute remove this background we don't need it anymore absolute and then left it's going to be 50% left 50% and then maybe for top we're going to give it 10% uh, 10% 10% um, and also we need to transform translate axis the x-axis minus 50% so it is centered properly uh, okay Okay, now it's centered, but our text is not yet centered. So what we need to do is we're going to say browser uh, text align. It's going to be center. So the text is centered. Okay. Inside the browser content, I am going to target the uh, browser content I'm going to target the paragraph and I'm going to give it a padding uh, I think this padding is going to be 1.5 RAM not 15 but 1.5 RAM and then 0 left and right okay that's decent and then a color of black color mm, black and then yep 
we also need to do the same for the what the hell i don't know why it's not inheriting the the styles i've done before the h1 i think i've done it inside the parent component but don't worry uh oops let me look for the h1 okay hero content so by default instead of selecting the hero content i'll just do h1 so it applies across all h1s that i'm going to do in this page okay i think oh i'm also going to increase the font here um what how many i think i'll do lorem 18 i don't know to make it a bit you know yep now i think that's fine now let's uh, go back to another section all right and then i think we need an h3 after this section uh an h3 i think let me see if an h3 works it's not coming i don't know why Okay, I'm going to give it uh, the actually this hero section. No, oops, not the hero. We need a margin bottom to be honest, padding bottom actually. Uh, browser section, padding bottom, three RAM. Why are my styles not that fine? Where, where did I put the padding? Uh, let's try margin. Okay, I think that works. After that, uh, H3, we are going to do display. Uh, I think it's inline block okay and now what we're going to do is we're going to copy the products so copy this section product section uh, product section where does it end here and then you copy this product section after the surface laptop you paste down the products again okay so now there you go the products uh, where is this title give it the class name S sub title this subtitle I'm going to give it padding to RAM and zero left and right all right i'm going to say this uh, oops where the heck is it index uh, let me see how much time i've been doing this video how long oh it's one hour 33 it's quite long okay so now we are going to change these images actually you know what i don't have time to download any more images you can exchange these images with whatever images that you want to <laughs> replace them with okay so now what i'm going to do is change the titles as well go back to products uh, So inside the products, the first one is surface. If it's three sixty-five, 
64, 65, I don't know, whatever. Hmm. And then we're going to do series X and S. I think we have, yeah, series. latest products okay latest ms products all right um after we've changed the titles you can replace these images with and titles with whatever titles that you want to replace them with but now let's move on. Now let's move on to the footer section. Uh, so after the main, this main, we're going to do footer. So for this footer, we don't need the utility class. Okay, we don't need it because we want the footer to cover the whole width. Okay, I'm going to select this footer. Go the way down. Um, okay, footer. So for the footer, I am I am going to give it a uh, a default a mean height. This is just a default mean height of um, yeah, forty vh. Oh, actually 35 by default and then or instead you cannot define the the height but I'm just going to define a default height okay mean height and the background color the background color for this one is a bit uh, light grayish okay background color this is the one okay so this is our footer section so now inside here we are going to add the footer items but we are going to use the uh, footer content and we are going to use the utility class the main padding okay because we want to have uh, the padding okay so now um, in here we're going to have about one two three four five six six grid items so in here I'm going to say dot footer um, footer nav actually footer nav all right inside the footer nav we're going to have uh, an h5 okay maybe what's what's new okay, in here i'm going to have ul li and then a it leads to nowhere hence the hash Okay. All right. So now we need to copy this uh, li a couple of times. One, two, three, four, five, six, maybe seven times. We can replace the text with whatever text.
Okay, so now we need to have this like six times one, two, three, four, five, six. What I'll do is I'll copy um, the footer nav, footer navigation. Uh, five more times one, two, three, four, five, and then you save. It's not showing up for some reason. I don't know why. I don't know why it's not showing. Yeah, yeah now it's showing. Okay, so now we need to display grid this so it's in a grid. Um, the parent element for this one, uh, the parent element it's the footer content that's the parent element footer content in here we're going to do display this one is going to be a grid display and then grid template repeat six times and then one fr okay for equal space there we go Okay, so now inside the footer content, uh, footer content, I am going to target something else. I am going to target the ally. The ally is going to have a padding, top and bottom point. 6 gram left and right it's going to be zero okay we're going to have a bit of spacing okay and i am going to remove the mean height okay okay i've removed the mean height but we want a padding top and bottom for the parent which is the parent footer content we're going to have a padding top and bottom is going to be 3 RAM and then 0 left and right the padding didn't apply let's see why that is inspect uh, refresh first to see inspect um, footer content padding oh it's I put I put the pa padding U padding oh I'm using the utility padding inside the footer content so what I'm going to do if I want to apply padding top and bottom for this one so 5 RAM left and right from the utility top and bottom 3 RAM so now it's time to remove the utility class okay and then you save okay it's the same now but we have a padding top and bottom oh something is missing i don't know what's going on hold on left and right left and right 5 ram 3 ram top and bottom i don't know what's going on here let me see you let's save refresh hold on save again okay so you know what I am going to um, foot and half foot and half this one I'll give this a padding instead foot and half padding top and bottom it's going to be 3 RAM and then left and right 0 alright so that way we have a padding top and bottom okay I think I need a bit of uh, a bit of um, 
a bit of a padding bottom as well on the title okay so that it looks a bit nicer all right so now for the title uh, h5 right uh, I'll just do it down here instead of doing it way up there h5 color and font size 1.6 RAM, I think, <laughs> not 16, 1.6, way too big, 1.3 RAM, it's too big. Uh, maybe something like this but just reduce the font weight font weight to uh, 300 uh, yep footer content h5 Padding bottom, um, one rem, I think. Okay, all right, one rem. I think now it's time to change the text. It's time to change the text. Uh, I think I'll, I'll remove the font weight. I'll just leave it with default font weight. Ah, no, keep it. Font weight three hundred. Now just change the text. sure if this is the spelling for enterprise enterprise I don't know okay so now we have saved and we have updates okay you can change these titles to whatever <laughs> these are uh, this these uh, links to whatever you want but I think I'm not going to waste any more time mm, you know what I think there's one more section that we can do um, I think let's do that section actually um, After uh, footer and then section section uh, section dot health health section okay the health section. So it's before the footer health section. It's going to have a padding. Um, for them, top and bottom, and then zero left and right. I'll give it a background color. 
of red and then min height um, 20 ph okay let's do a margin actually margin think margin bottom what's fine bottom forum and then maybe yeah I think margin bottom works fine margin bottom forum and then maybe margin top to RAM okay all right yeah this works fine And then inside this section, we have an H1. This one's going to be uh, response to COVID 19. Lorem P. -P Lorem seventeen. A P T N secondary. Land more, and then we're going to do N B S P. Okay. MBSP uh, and we copy this arrow we need it and then you save okay copy this um, copy, cut cut the whole thing and uh, put a parent container health container con S okay so we can health container okay copy the health container you know what to do position going to center everything absolute what the f sorry <laughs> absolute pos position position absolute and then left 50% top top 50% and then transform we're going to center everything translate minus 50% and then minus 50% and the parent is your section position of relative because it's the parent okay and then you save no changes whatsoever save the HTML as well there you go we also need text align to center there you go okay um btn secondary do i have btn secondary somewhere you know it doesn't matter anymore we just style this i'll tag the anchor tag give a font size 1.1 ram all right now remove this weird background color and i'm going to oh this guy's always making a lot of noise god damn and 
I'll tag the P, a P tag as well. And for this P tag, I'll give it a padding, one RAM, and then zero. And then now what we need is copy this color. Actually, not the font color. We need the one that we use for the background color here. Um, yep, background color is going to be this subtle gray color. All right. Now, after that, let's work on this button here. I think for the button, the color that they use is a black one. Uh, and a strong font weight. Am I doing? Um, I'm supposed to target this one font weight 700 and a color of black all right I think <laughs> this is uh, close to whatever font word they use because I, I'm pretty sure this is not the font the Mac Microsoft use all right so now I think that's it. Now let's try to make it a bit more, a, a little bit responsive. I don't have a lot of time to do this, but I'll just show you the basics just to make it a little responsive. And then if you want me to make it uh, way more responsive, you can uh, request through the comments. Okay. Now let's okay. go to the uh, device view. Okay. Now we need to make this um, navigation disappear on at a certain uh, width. Okay. We want the nav bar to disappear. So maybe somewhere, you know what, I think actually I'll make um, a different video to make this responsive because I don't have uh, a lot of time to do this because I'm so sleepy. Look at the time. I've been awake all night. It's already 5 a.m. in the morning now. <laughs> so yeah, I'll make another video to make this responsive. If I don't see people uh, requesting for the uh, for the responsive uh, part, I'll just not make it. But if people they want me to make uh, the next part, I'll I'll do it. And then yeah, I think this is it for this video. I'll see you in the next one. Mm -hmm.